Hello. So I spent two days and I made this prototype. It's a, it's a game, but it's only actually about one-tenth of its actual potential. I mean, I'm not talking about more development. I'm talking about just building more levels and putting in slightly more advanced uh, objects because it's got all of the framework it needs, but I'm out of my two-day limit. So what I need to do, uh, I'm going to show off the most complicated level I've made, and then I'm going to upload this to Itch.io, and I will probably work on it for another day or two and upload a more complete version with 10 or 15 levels that are significantly more complicated. As I mentioned before, this is a game about building a particle accelerator, and our target is 10 GeV. Right now we're at 1 MeV, which is um, nowhere close. We've got a couple of options as to what we want to do. Sensor arrays, oh, a surge klystron. Well, this would be good. Low energy klystron cooled off by glycol. Uh, it, uh, it can accelerate us, but we need an energy reading, uh, which means we need sensors. Yeah, look, sensors. And there's our energy reading. We can bring our power back out. No reason to waste a power cord. Surge klystron. Power connected. Oh, this is a water connection. We need a glycol connection. Well, I think we're going to need this water eventually, so how about we just put it on a st put it on the stack here. There we go. Now glycol. See? Perfect. Get another sensor. Oop. Get another sensor. More energy reading. More power output. More surge klystrons. Where's our glycol? I forgot to pump. I forgot to put it out. Fireworks outside, in case you're wondering what that loud noise is. So here you can see we're up to 397 MeV. We're still pretty short. Can we do another sensor rig? And just when you get used to the fact that these, you know, it's like uh, repeating the same same sets, it uh, it stops working. So. We're up to 537 MeV, right? But what else are we having a problem with here? Wait. That's not the right kind of power cable. We are out of yellow cables. We're down to the one red cable that we have access to. So this can't be a sensor rig, but it can be an electrical rig. So now we have five more yellow sensors. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Let's put our sensor rig back in here. Energy reading. Power. And uh, I think we can upgrade ourselves to the glycol klystron. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yeah, now we're up to 5 GeV. We're most of the way there. We've only got 5 more GeV to go. This one's overheating. Our glycol is just too hot. So what can we do about that? Well, we can put in the glycol fridge. Wait a second. The glycol fridge requires water and then glycol, and we've got glycol and then nothing. Well, that's okay. Let's take one of these water pipes and uh, pop it off the stack. Glycol goes from 372 Kelvin down to 220 Kelvin. Pretty nice. Oh wow, our deviation and our vacuum are starting to really suck. But that doesn't matter in this early version. Oh, do we already have a sensor rig? Nope. Nope, we already have a sensor rig, so we don't need that. Let's go ahead and... Uh, wait a second. We've got a problem. Our power is backwards because we're using up the power we normally would leave. We're using that up here. So then we've got our sensor reading on the inside, and that means it's getting pulled first. So, you know what we've got to do? We gotta pull the cable, exchange it, and then pop it. And I've gone ahead and exchanged one of those cables. So now the yellow one is on the inside and the blue one is on the outside, see? Nine GeV. We're just one short here. Let's go ahead and build this last sensor reading. Well, GeV, we made it. This is all the speed we needed. We uh, we have the opportunity now to... Oh, too hot. That's not going to work. So we're going to need to put in another fridge. 
glycol fridge. Oh, we actually never outputted it, so this might not be too hot. Let's go ahead and put it back at... Okay, that looks like it's not going to overheat. It was just because we didn't have any glycol available. So now we are uh, late enough in the game that we can put down our collider. Oh, okay, come on. Nope, we got the wrong kind of power. We got the yellow power. We need the red power. No biggie. Let's just pull a cable. And that leaves just the red power left, and it comes down here. We got the glycol running into it. We got it cool enough to run. We got a miserable deviation in vacuum level. Run that test. Success. You're 11,000 MeV over. So as you can see, there are hints of this being a game, a logic puzzle game, uh, where you kind of have an open field, so it's not a strict puzzle with only one solution. But it's still early on enough that uh, the potential hasn't been reached. There are going to be a lot more things in this game, where you need to have vacuum uh, uh, objects and, uh, and uh, uh, magnets that, that focus your beam back together and a whole bunch of other things. But we just haven't gotten uh, that far yet in this prototype. I only gave myself 48 hours to do it, and as I look at the clock, I see exactly 48 hours have passed, so I'll be uploading this version to Itch.io.